talking about the Earth's atmosphere! So if I ever see you on the Vocab word! Atmosphere is a mixture of gases that surrounds Earth. This mixture is often referred to air. The atmosphere is made up of several different layers. Each layer has distinct properties. This is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. It's called the troposphere. The troposphere is the region of the atmosphere that extends from Earth's surface to a height about 8 to 15 kilometers. It holds the majority of Earth's air and has weather. This is the stratosphere. It's above the troposphere. The stratosphere is the region of the atmosphere that extends from about 15 kilometers to 50 kilometers. This is the mesosphere. It ranges about 50 kilometers to 80 kilometers. This is the thermosphere. It does not have a defined limit. Beyond the thermosphere is space. The main gases that make Earth's atmosphere are nitrogen and oxygen. Oxygen gas makes up about 21% of Earth's atmosphere. Nitrogen gas makes up about 78% of Earth's atmosphere. And the 1% is water vapor, argon, carbon dioxide, and ozone. Have you ever wondered why the sky is blue? God didn't fart in it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> and Chuck Norris didn't do anything to it either. The real reason is, as visible light passes through the atmosphere, it is absorbed, reflected, and scattered by particles and gas molecules in the atmosphere. Light with a shorter wavelength, including violet and blue, is absorbed and then reflected first as light passes through the atmosphere. When blue light scatters through the atmosphere and reaches our eyes, the sky appears blue. So it's actually not blue, but when we see it, it's blue. It's kind of confusing, but yeah, that's why it's blue. Sunlight penetrating the atmosphere. As the sun's radiation passes through the atmosphere, some of it is absorbed by gases and particles, and some of it is reflected back into space. 25% of radiation is reflected back by clouds and other particles. 20% of radiation absorbed by particles in the atmosphere. 50% of radiation reaches and is absorbed by Earth's surface. 5% of radiation is reflected back by land and sea surface. The sun's power. The sun emits an enormous amount of radiation. The sun will continue to produce energy for billions of years. For this reason, scientists consider the sun as a constant source of energy. Another thing, the angle at which sunlight hits Earth's surface affects how warm an area of surface becomes. For example, so if the sun's rays hit towards the middle of Earth, that's where the point where it's going to be the hottest. If it's at near the poles, it's going to be cold because it hits it at an angle. Humans rely on the sun very much. The sun's energy heats the air, the oceans, and the land on Earth. The sun's energy is responsible for climate and weather. Not only does the sun energy make climate conditions on Earth suitable for life, the sun's energy serves as the power for other cycles on Earth. The sun's energy. Solar radiation warms water, air, and land at Earth's surface. It powers the water cycle and photosynthesis in living organisms that form the base of the food chain. Energy transfer in the atmosphere. Yeah, go Lakers! Conduction in air. Vocab word. Conduction. Conduction is the process that heats air close to Earth's surface. Radiant energy from the sun warms the land and the oceans. Convection in air. Hot air that is close to Earth's surface moves to higher altitudes by convection. As a result, air in the troposphere is almost always moving. In the troposphere, the movement of air by convection is mostly in a vertical direction. Let me show you an example. Send this Jamba Juice balloon was a hot air balloon. Whee! It goes up! <laughs> okay, so air inside the balloon is heated. As the air 
is heated, the molecules become more distant from each other and the air expands. As the density of the air inside the balloon lessens, it will rise above the cooler air. Woke ah! up, <laughs> Inversion. Air temperature in the troposphere increases as altitude increases. An inversion occurs when warm air sits on top of cold air. This means that air that is rising from Earth's surface can only reach a certain altitude, and then it becomes trapped by the warm layer of air above it. Heating with sunlight. People used to start fires by rapidly spinning a wooden stick. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Friction caused the wood particles to vibrate, producing heat. Today, people have learned that concentrated sunlight can also be used as a source of heat. Absorbing different wavelengths. Different molecules absorb different types of radiation. Although ozone is a harmful pollutant in the troposphere, it also absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiation in the stratosphere. Imagine irradiation. Solar radiation that reaches Earth's surface is absorbed by land, trees, asphalt, sand, soil, and oceans. Greenhouse gases. Not all of the radiation emitted by Earth escapes the planet. There is a fraction of the outgoing infrared radiation emitted by Earth that is absorbed by gases present in the atmosphere. These gas molecules absorb infrared radiation and re it in all di directions. Some of the radiation that is re-emitted is directed back to Earth. This is similar to the way a greenhouse works. When gases in Earth's atmosphere direct radiation back towards Earth's surface, this warms Earth's atmosphere more than normal. Gases that strongly absorb a portion of Earth's outgoing radiation are called greenhouse gases. Water vapor, methane gas, and carbon dioxide are examples of greenhouse gases. In recent years, some scientists have presented data that show that Earth's average surface temperature is increasing every year, a condition called global warming. One possible explanation for this temperature increase is an increased amount of greenhouse gases believed being released into the atmosphere. Every night in my dreams. Air currents. Vocabulary. Wind is air that is in motion relative to Earth's surface. Differences in air pressure over Earth's surface cause wind. The sun is the major source of energy that powers wind. A current of water or air that runs counter to the main current, especially a circular current, is called an eddy. Eddy, people. Eddy. Uneven heating in the Earth's surface. Uneven heating of the Earth's surface causes air to be heated unevenly. Aside from differences in the angles of sunlight, what else can cause Earth's surface to be heated unevenly? Look at this text right on my face, okay? This is a table about percent of reflection of solar radiation reflected, okay? So, so basically in this text, the less percent that is reflected, the more hotter it is there. So the forest, the forest, the asphalt will be the hottest since it's not reflected back. The water will be second hottest because some of the the it's not ref the radiation is not reflected. Sand will be reflected 30 to 60 percent, so that would be beach temperature. And the snow and ice is going up to 90 percent reflected. 90 percent. That is super cold if you're on snow and ice. High pressure to low pressure. When air moves rapidly from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure, we call it wind. The Coriolis effect. Vocab word. The Coriolis effect. The dis this deflection of air and water currents. No. This, this deflection of air and water currents, known as the Coriolis effect, is caused by Earth's rotation. Think about what would happen if you threw a ball <laughs> to someone sitting across from you on a moving merry-go-round. Would the ball reach that person? 
That's what she said. <laughs> By the time the ball got to the opposite side, the person would have moved, and the ball would have appeared to have curved. Like the merry-go-round, the rotation of Earth causes moving air and water to appear to turn to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Jet streams! Jet streams are strong, continuous winds that range from 200 kilometers an hour to 250 kilometers an hour. There are two jet streams in each hemisphere. There are two jet streams in each hemisphere. The polar jet stream and the subtropical jet stream. I hope you learned a lot about Earth's atmosphere. And hope you pass the test. Yay!